Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. I'm Harry and I'm joined by Lydia and Ravs. How are we hello. doing? <laughs> hello, hello, I'm good. Hello. This feels so weird. It feels so weird to be doing this live. I know. Like, it's um... Not doing a mark and not chatting for 50 minutes <laughs> how hungover we are and stuff. <laughs> Is anyone hungover? Let's get that out of the nope. way right now. Mm-mm. I guess that's um that's an Zero. important piece of it. I am Zero hangovers. I'm readying mm-hmm. my liver for tonight where I'm gonna get fucked up. I'm gonna get fucked up, I've decided. Is that, is that your decision? I like grown up I decision. I, I don't think I ever think that. I don't think I'm ever like, yes, tonight I'm going to ruin myself and make me hate myself <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> well, I just know it's inevitable. So I've accepted it. I've, you know, I've made peace with that fact. I know I'm gonna be hungover tomorrow. It's you know, that's <laughs> I'm feeling fresh today, though. I'm feeling good, um, ready to do this podcast. But it is well, weird, it feels, isn't it? Cause... It feels horribly off-brand. I feel like we someone should have at least fucking gotten hung, gotten hung over. It's exactly. terrible. Last time terrible we, we... effort by everyone. I had a few of... last night. That's yeah, not enough, few. is it, though, Rabs? No, is not it? enough. Come on, mate. Letting no. the team down, for fuck's sake. No, not enough. Um, We're never going to get I've... that zero degrees alcohol brand deal at this rate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I guess we should add for um, for audio listeners later. We're live on Twitch at the moment. We're doing Pickaxe Week. Um, and we're streaming you mean this. Pickaxe. P- wait, so we, Welsh. That, wait, pickaxe. Welsh. Pickaxe. <laughs> That's exactly how he says it. That's nice. It's nice that Daft's in the office. He'll give you, I'm sure, a lovely look when uh, you leave mm. leave this recording room. <laughs> He'll be proud of that. He'll be really proud of that. That's nice. It's just good. I love it. it. It's kind of wholesome. I picture Daft all happy saying it. Oh, <laughs> Pickaxe. <sweet boy>. Pickaxe. <laughs> Pickaxe. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so today, I think we wanted to, um, you know, having a live audience means we can potentially take in some questions live. However, mm-hmm. Twitch chat isn't exactly the greatest formation to take mm-hmm. questions in. It is a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah. So if you put your questions into our usual form, your card or SD, SD slash ZD, the link is in the title, you can submit questions live. Just include the word live at the start and we will mm-hmm. read them. So um, for example, live mm-hmm. dash, why my cum petrol? <laughs> and, you know, why my cum petrol? <laughs> yeah. That, that is how you would do that. You'd, like, think about that though. You'd really like... You'd, you'd be great with the whole sort of economic crisis. You could just, every time you need to drive somewhere, you just have a wank into your car. We just fucking, we just True. pipe Ravs up. Yeah. We just pipe yeah. Ravs up to a fucking oil mm-hmm. tanker just and just drive him around the world solving <laughs> fuel crises. I don't know, man, though. I feel like I'm only, I'm only going to take you a couple of miles, you know. Like, I'm not I'm not shooting big ropes. I'm <laughs> you, doing a, you I do on a the sad side of a car. Don't lie, you Ravs. You've never had sex hole. in your life. <laughs> No, You're going to be you know, doing the biggest loads ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do sad, sad spurts. You know, I don't do big rocks. Oh. I do sad spurts. It look, like dribbles out. Oh, oh God. That's, God. That's not good for anyone, especially no. not my car. Oh. Yeah. Awful. Um, I guess on that note, shall we, while we wait for some live questions to come in, shall we do our favorite game? There's already live oh. questions around and they're already saying, why am I cum petrol? <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff, guys. Yay. In the meantime, that, should we do that, our favourite game though mm-hmm. of random questions? Should we mm-hmm. should we yeah. load it up? Load up question the roulette. Well, question roulette. The thing is, now that I've put these in here, that means that eventually, with question roulette, we're gonna have to answer why my cum petrol. Fuck's sake. Yep. True. Well, hopefully people don't just abuse that and spam it in a hundred times, and then the odds of landing on why my cum petrol get really high. Um, be kind, <laughs> chat. Be kind. Who wants to go first? Who wants to rule it up first? Uh, what is it? Random dot org. Yeah, I've got it open. Who, who wants to go uh, first? I can go first. I, I can take the first question. I'm happy All to. Right. Between one and we're over seven hundred questions now, chat. Jeez. This is pretty mad. Pretty mad. All right. Number 580, Ravs. Can you find that one? Yeah, getting there. Uh, what a form. We're going to have to make a new form at this point. Oh, it's a long... <laughs> it's a letter. It's a long God one. God damn. Okay. What people don't understand is this Google form is enormous. What number There's again, so sorry? Many. 580 is, your, is Wait, your random number. my form ends at 444. What? You're on sorted. Oh, I'm on sorted. I'm a yeah. silly, silly yeah, goose. Yeah, yeah. 581. <laughs> I love that we had a sorted tab, which lasts for two weeks. This is behind the scenes on Pick oh no, yeah. on, oh on Zero Degrees on Pickaxe yeah. Week. We had a okay. sorted tab where I was sorting the questions into good questions and bad questions. Did you say 581? 580, yeah. 580. 580. Okay, all right. I got yeah. it. You got it? Right. Yeah. Oh we my ready? God, it's, a nor- it's enormous. It's a big one. It's, it's, it's a really long one. 
Well, this Ayo. is going to give us more oh. than enough time to fucking okay. get some questions that, in. That, send in your live questions while we're doing this first question. Question one, are you ready? Okay. Hello, Zero Degrees DGENs. I'll try to keep this short. They didn't. I work at a university and I'm a lab assistant for a team that does fertility research. I love where this is going. I'm not smart enough yet to fully explain, but I have only been there since June and still haven't met everyone who I work with since some people work from home and what nowadays. Sometimes our lab process samples, usually semen, tissue and mice, and I don't really do anything other than dispose of them or prepare things like microscope slides for a technician. We all wear protective PPE stuff, mostly for hygiene, since none of what we handle could really cause any harm. Last Wednesday at work, I found out that in August, my colleague put a sample of mouse semen in my Actimel and watched me drink it. I'm completely disgusted and I walked out of work after finding out. My colleague Sam and Adam, who are of a similar age to me, 25, apologised profusely, profusely and I found out the main person behind this was the technician who handles those samples called Akib. Hope I said that correctly. For, conte- for context, Akib is from Singapore and has a PhD, lives in England with his <laughs> older brother, doesn't go out much, doesn't say much, so I am not 100% sure that this is something Akib would do since he's pretty quiet usually. There's still so much of this to go, guys. This is only halfway through. Can we Wait, just sorry, what number are we? Yeah. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, <laughs> five, 580. 580. 580. Okay, 580. It's yeah. an absolute fucking lead it. Yeah. So, Simon Clark is going to okay. read on Twitch. Thank you, Simon Clark. Yeah. Welcome to Zero Degrees. We're Hello. answering questions, mm-hmm. people, people's questions. Mm-hmm. And Ravs is reading the first question. Wow. So that he basically Only drank. halfway through it. He yeah. drank a mouse sample. Now, when he says mouse sample, does mouse that semen. mean... Mouse cum. It was, was mouse that, was cum in their actimel. How do you wank off a mouse? Very small tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni, just very lots of macaroni. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god. little macaroni mouse slate. Oh Why are they god. wanking off mice? More importantly, Why are how they is wank- that helping science? I don't no know. one needs to wank off a mouse. <laughs> Who's funding the mouse wank? Mouse wanking. Who's doing this? I have is no this- idea. Dr. Simon Clark, I mean, we have a PhD. We did get Simon, Simon Clark on this podcast as a PhD yeah. holder. He needs to be on zero degrees. Um, Absolutely. I can't, I, I'm just, it, it, by sample of mouse, I was thinking it was like a foot of a mouse or like a tail, but I think you're right. I think it was, they didn't no, say they mouse said, semen. It says Shrank mouse semen foot. in here. <laughs> Uh, I mean, right, how I mean, much? How much does a mouse, how much does a mouse I mean, come? They've got to be a little drip. Several mouse the, come. A, a sperm know. the same size for every creature. Wait, oh, you mean relative is to that their a dumb, size? Is that a dumb question? A sperm? Relative no. to their size, right? Otherwise, like... Whale like... sperms aren't, like, the size of your finger. No, right? because oh they're whales, wait, are, wait, are, you, are, you suggesting, are you suggesting that whale cum, you can just straight up see a giant semen? It's like... just a giant fucking dude <laughs> wobbling around. Yeah, just wobbling right at you. No, well, no, because, should... wait, I'm confused. There'd be loads of cum with the whale, wouldn't it? Yeah, but there's lots of, cu- lots of cum, but just... It's all the same sizes. I know what I must do. Whale oh, you cum mean, video. You, you mean the actual, like, <laughs> the cum, swimmers the, rather yeah, than the, swimmers, the quantity yeah, yeah, of yeah. liquid? The right, Phelps. okay. I'm talking about the right. Michael Phelps. Yeah. Okay, right. I thought you meant, like, literally no, how much collective. liquid comes out. No, right, I'm talking okay. about the swimmers themselves. Are they all different sized or not? A whale <laughs> coming. Well, no, because I, I wouldn't work for a mouse, would it? But, like, but in which but case, a mouse is only, he's only sending, like, five swimmers down the lane. Do you know what I mean? No, he'd, he'd be spacking he's, out he's only gonna He's surely only coming a little... I'm just wondering... What I want to no, know but, is how much mouse cum was in the Actimil. Because if it was like one cum, if a mouse only has one cum, then it's not that bad. Like, one you know, cum. get over it. You mean one on. singular sperm one cum? One sperm. One Michael No, it's going to be oh hundreds God. of sperms in him, comes in him. Yeah, but not like millions like with us. Probably. I'm trying to find out what whale Stop. cum looks like. Okay. Ravs is just like, I'm Think on this quest. Ravs is on this fucking yeah. side quest I'm on this already. quest, right? But the <laughs> top Google result for what does whale cum is uh-huh. what does whale cum taste like? Not even oh. look like, taste Oh, no, like. it's it's that stuff, isn't it? Um, Seagrass, sea, sea seagrass, what's it called? Um, it's like a really uh, expensive... Uh, commodity. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like perfume. It's a pheromone, yeah. Almost. Ambergris. Isn't it? Ambergris. That's it. So yeah. people are probably like, "Can I eat ambergris?" Oh, it's bath. Oh. It's not cum. Oh, my bad. I get the two mixed up a lot. <laughs> this is very similar, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a claim that a whale releases 40 gallons of cum during mating and contributes to the saltiness of the ocean water. Bullshit. That's fucking wild. Bullshit. What, the sea's salty because whales wait, keep so how many? Sp- wait, Ravs, I need a sperm count. In 40 gallons? 40, how many sperm are in 40 gallons of cum? How I many sperm know. do you get in a gallon gal- of cum? Wait, how much is Simon four- Clark, to- are you there? <laughs> <laughs> how much is science needs you. I need how to, like, much? I can't envision how much 40 gallons is. So a gallon is one of, like, those big... Okay, so it's like one of those big, like, barrels. They're, yeah, they're doing yeah. that much cum. Yeah. Like a big barrel of cum. That's Can a lot. Can you're swimming, you're swimming in whale spawn. spawn. Is that why the sea's salty? No. It has to be. Because you get, like, sea salt. So we you put in your food, so you're actually just sprinkling but, crystallized whale cum on everything. Back to the original point, I mean... I just don't think a mouse comes that much. I All mean, right, well, if the whale is coming that much, like you know, we're kind of the intermediary between now, a whale and a mouse, right? Like, if a mouse step is like, <laughs> if a mouse did forty gallons, I'd be concerned. It'd <laughs> I mean, be drowning be itself. I'd be, I'd be proud, Ravs. I'd be yeah. proud for that mouse. <laughs> I'm gonna look up mouse. I don't really think I should look up mouse. No, you, can, you can look it up. That's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I'm not. Oh, I should go on incognito, shouldn't I? No, it's just fine. in case. No, just free and easy. All right, I'll let the police turn up. Oh no! What the? No. I'd, I'd like to go back and say I still Me- have another half of this question to read. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we'll we get there. We'll get one, there. One of the first options that's come up is Mickey Mouse pants and cream pied ass. <laughs> <laughs> you have to that. click it. You right, have to. That, that, that's a good time to return to the question. Rams, do you want to continue? Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, going back, um, a keep is usually pretty quiet. On October 6th, I had a disciplinary meeting for walking out of work. They're asking me why I walked out and what happened. So today I confronted Akib about the drink and he said he had no idea about it and he seemed to visibly be repulsed by the thought of putting a sample of mouse semen in somebody's drink. He asked that I tell the other staff it was not him. My question is, who do I blame in my disciplinary meeting? I don't want to lose my job, but at the same time, I know that if I tell my bosses what happened to my drink... Someone is going to get in serious trouble and maybe lose their job. I really don't want to keep to lose his job since I know that the job he has here provides for him and his brother and he doesn't have any other family in the UK. When you start work in any of the labs here, you have to go through a two-day mini course on health and safety, which they make it very clear that tampering or removing samples from where they should be can lead to you losing your job. I'm considering taking the bullet and leaving because I don't want to work with someone who did that to my drink but then I'll be broke too. Please tell me what I should do. P.S. If you don't get to this in time, I'll send an update maybe. Wait, uh, wait, wait. This is a long time ago. That was, was the oh 27th God. of September. <laughs> I wonder Fuck. what the update is. Yeah. Okay, wait. Fuck. Can we, we I'm rewind? I'm going to control F Akib. I'm going to control F Akib. I'm going to see if I can find Akib. They never sent an update. They never okay. followed up. How oh, did they? Okay, wait. It says Akeeb last Wednesday. Got them. Or- <laughs> Akeeb got them. It says last Wednesday at work, I found out that in August my colleagues put a sample of mouse semen in my Actimel. How does how did he find that out? So what a colleague said, just so you know, someone yeah, that's put sus. mouse come in your drink. Yeah, that a colleague. Yeah. So wait, wait. So why does found... that colleague know? Yeah, mm. surely, surely. Oh wait, hold sir. Yeah, my colleague Sam and Adam, who are similar age to me, apologised profusely. But I found the main person behind this was the technician. So it just sounds like it's Sam and Adam that did this. Do you know what maybe yeah. happened? Sam and Adam did it, but Akeeb gave them the sample to do it. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Maybe that's like his department. So who's, whose fault is it that the cum ended up in there? Is it Akeeb for providing the cum? Or is it Sam and Adam for putting the cum in there? Sam I think it's Adam. Sam and Adam. 100%. I think they take the bullet on this. I think you point the finger at them. But I feel like Akeeb, shouldn't have, Akeeb knows the rules, right? You don't, you don't hand out mouse cum. <laughs> yeah, that person shouldn't. Everyone I mean, knows you don't have that. Sucks to be you, Akeeb, but also you should lose your job for, you know, doing that. Uh, Actually, but, go back to what you said, Harry. I'm imagining now, like, it probably is what, like, a single. It's tiny! Little tiny little bead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> little I, tiny bead. I mean, it doesn't say that they, like, threw up or anything. I'm not saying the question. I'm it's not, not okay. I'm not, it's not no, okay. I'm not proposing no. the questioner liked it. I'm not at all. I'm not proposing No, 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 no But it no, didn't no, say no. that they, like, you know, threw up or... I guess they didn't know at the time. You know, mouse cum obviously doesn't have that much of a po- pungent flavour, you know, and they only found out weeks later that this kind of cummy incident happened. So, Rav, do you think <laughs> Akib should be fired? I think Akib, Sam, and Adam, or whatever his fucking name is, There's no way they're fired. firing or free, mate. That's not happening. Yeah, no I know. Way. Someone's got to be the fall guy, and I, I would probably point the finger at Sam and Adam hard. 
Oh, it feels. Like, but yeah, I feel like Sam and Adam are. Fu- they're the ones who put it in there. Like he was probably just like pressured into doing it or tricked. I mean, he, yeah. say he mm. to say he denied it. He didn't. De- yes, he did. He denied yeah, it. Yeah, Akeem said he denied it, and he looked disgusted by the idea. Yeah, I, f- I feel like it certainly was Sam and Adam then. But I don't understand why he said it was Akeem and his... I feel like the question of Mr. Mark here, it wasn't Akeem. You've been tricked by Sam and Adam. Yeah. He, they're, they're fucking dastardly cum dealers. But also, going back to like the original, what what they did, that is disgusting. To do that yeah, to it's someone... Fucked. That is, is really fucked. fucked. That's really like, fucked. They absolutely should be fired. That's disgusting. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Who does and we should that send, to a person? They should fucking send us a little bit of the sample. That is disgusting, though. Really wrong. <laughs> send me what? a little bit. Just, that is so wrong. That send me an Actamel as well, please. That is, uh, I am looking in the fridge of Actamel every night. Where? Where is it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is really. I've got a pet mouse now. Um... <laughs> oh, can't say. <laughs> me, me on the way to pets at home. <laughs> oh no! Right. So what if? So Twitch chat is saying a lot. Seems to think. What if there is no come? What if it's just a, like a prank? They're winding him up, kind of thing, right? Yeah. I, I mean, mm. the thing is, that's it. It could have been just all. I mean, surely it's a science lab. Should they have it all like? You know, you have records of where all these yeah. samples have gone, and you know, someone is spending hours wanking off this mice. This is, this <laughs> like, is an interesting cum, one here. This cum is going to be accounted for. Like, you Doctor, can't. <laughs> Doctor Simon Clark actually said in the chat, and it's a callback to something we talked about before. They may have been testing how mice respond to the pineapple-based diet. That's As we just... know, oh. the claim is that pineapples make your cum taste better. <laughs> So maybe this Actamel <laughs> wasn't pineapple flavor, and they picked up on the taste of pineapple. That's it. They were like, "Any notes on that on that raspberry yeah, flavor?" Mm, <laughs> notes, notes of pineapple. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I mean, I, the, the the thing is, I probably wouldn't want to work there because that's such an unsettling thing to have happen to you. Yeah, you know I mean, that's like so like also so oh mistrustworthy. God. The fact that no one's really come forward about uh, it feels just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It just feels it feels sneaky. It feels like you got fucking done over a bit in your workplace, and I, I don't. I, I'd, I'd like, feel uncomfortable. I know you I'd can't fucking fire. kick off. I know you I'd guys are saying that not all three off. of them. I know you said that not all three of them are getting fired, but I feel like all three of these people should be fired. Like they all kind of did something that's fucking awful. Like I'd, I'd hate to have those people working at my company. Well, mm. I, but I feel like Akib Akib didn't break health and safety. He just probably broke some code of you no. Know, Giving yeah. samples to, to somebody, yeah. yeah. Like he he didn't break the take off and safety yeah. violation. He he just fucking was a bit of a moron. Sam Best and Adam were the Adam. fucking Weasley brothers. I don't know pranking. why Sam, Sam and Adam is such a good name combination. It was Sam yeah, and Adam. Right. <laughs> I think that I think they should. This, this person should definitely talk to the their HR department or, or whatever and say just say what they know. <laughs> I have been told yeah, yeah. that I have drunk some mouse cum. And um, that these people are potentially involved. It's don't. made me feel incredibly uncomfortable. Can you please help me? Don't, just, God, don't look like happy about it when you say I drank some mouse cum. Don't, don't look proud. Don't, don't just, Why dear God, you've got to look as remorsefully sad as possible. Oh my just God. The way, you, the way you said, I drank some mouse cum and it, not good. Not oh. good. I'm, I'm some... still stuck on how the fuck you wank a mouse off. I'm really thinking, well, not really thinking about it, but like, how? Scientifically speaking, I don't know. Are they like like a tiny Hoover? It's got to be a little, a little tiny like a mouse flashlight. Because they have a little tiny just... flashlight for mice. Do they even just have penises hanging out? Like you know, like... can they have just like almost like yeah, like fake fake mice babes that all these like oh <laughs> mice chads are going and like fucking and having their <laughs> semen collected from? <laughs> just these mice are living in like this dystopian fucking cyberpunk world where they're endlessly fucking these like cyber ma- mice babes. <laughs> oh my god! These poor oh god. mice. I mean, they're in heaven. It's Jesus. amazing. Life of luxury. <laughs> Pineapple and babes. Hedonistic lifestyle. You know, you can get those little tiny Henry Hoovers that like clean your keyboard from all the crumbs uh-huh. and stuff. I think they mm-hmm. just use them on them. Just oh my god! Just stick a little Henry Hoover on them. Jesus. God, what a God. mind-blowing question. You know what? What a fucking great one to land on. Yeah, yeah I wow. Mean, honestly, kind of harrowing. Uh, very, very harrowing. Yeah. Incredibly if you've harrowing. Not, please send us an update. And if you've not be, had that disciplinary yet, is the power move to go up dressed as Mickey Mouse? <laughs> go with a that, Mickey Mouse that, t-shirt on. <laughs> no, just go with like a Mickey Mouse t-shirt on. Yeah. With like a glass of milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. 
I did, no, just another <laughs> actor mill. Just another <laughs> actor mill. <laughs> just drink an actor mill during. The, I yeah, exactly. I re- we need an update. We do need an update on this one. Mm-hmm. Please, uh, please write in again. Please and I hope, do. I, I hope. I hope you get to stay at your job. I hope it's um, all good. And let us know well, if you did who you pointed the finger at. What a fucking mind blowing job. Just, yeah, right. I didn't know that that was a job. Most comic extractor. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, a bit mental. Mm-hmm. Um, How do you do get that more? job? <laughs> okay, just curious. Just, just, cu- just curious. curious. Just curious. Should we do one more random question and then go into a live one? Yeah. I do enjoy spinning sure. the wheel. It's fun. Sure. Um, just as a reminder for any latecomers, uh, we're doing zero degrees. You're more than welcome to submit a question at yourcad.st slash zd. The link is in the title. Uh, put a little question in and leave live at the start of your question just so we 100% know which one you're going for. All right, Liz, I'm giving you a number. Get ready. 562. Have we done that one? No, we did we talk about this one and it was like a bit fucked and we didn't really answer it on the podcast. I can't remember. Okay, I just re rolled I re rolled you for five four six. We've only got a lot of five hundreds. This is an update yeah. from the belly button bonanza. Did we ever do this? Uh, I guess we didn't do the update. No. No. <laughs> what the fuck okay. is a belly button bonanza? Oh, I don't the remember. Guy? So let's not, go on a journey. I, let's go I on a journey. This one. <laughs> let's go on a journey and remember. <laughs> what number? It'll Sorry? Com- com- five four six. Five, four, six. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, the belly button bonanza. Help! Recently, I, young male, went to a friend's going away party and got quite smashed. Oh, no, we, we have this read one. this one. Oh, we've done okay. this one. It's where we've he was fingering his oh, friend's belly button. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me, that question. All right, let's oh, that question's hilarious. Okay, one more. Three, nine, four. What have we got three, there? Three, nine, four. Uh, three, nine. Four. I like okay. random question. What away. is this fucking question? What? Uh, what? Th- this feels like a hat films question. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go for it. Do you want me to you read sure? it? It's, a bit, yeah. it's quite, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite, right. it's quite the question. You All need right, to remind yeah. me. This is a very early one. Um, <clears throat> the questioner writes: <clears throat> I'm very upset at the recent talk of bean bunging. I'm a bean bunger myself, and I've had many happy partners say they have enjoyed my experience more than any other sexual act in the past. The reading of Urban Dictionary text was not res- re- respective of the actual act itself or of anal play in general. When Harry gave his reaction, it was very offensive and felt like kink shaming. Ouch. I'm so sorry. I can't even remember what this is. I don't even know what bean bunging is. It was in one of the questions. <laughs> I'm getting cancelled. I think this is it. I, is I, it I get getting cancelled live. Is, is it shoving the balls inside the bum hole? Was it that <laughs> is, one? Is that I think that's what, what it was. bunging is? I think so. I think we talked about this. Oh, yeah, during... brilliant. If Harry is able to share his knowledge, which is obviously limited in areas of anal play, I think this could be a learning system all involved. Oh. Fisting. <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking righteous <laughs> little fucking oh my little God. fucking anal love? Oh my this God. This is hilarious. Okay. They actually got off. tilted. They Here's actually the urban... got tilted. Here is the urban dictionary. <laughs> okay. Bean bunging. For a gentleman to insert his testicles into his lover's vagina yes, or anus. Yes, it was big guy. It was yeah. big yeah. testy guys, the guy with the giant testes. Yeah. They were massive, mm-hmm. weren't they? Yeah. Then there's a oh, whole... That's classic. They describe the technique of how to do it in this Urban Dictionary as well. Can yeah. you read that out for us, Ralph, please? Okay, technique. First, always ensure that the vagina or anus in question has been suitably warmed up, or at the very <laughs> least, politely <laughs> warmed. Next, apply lubricant to the penis and testicles, and if necessary, the relevant entry point. Slowly insert the penis... Pa- uh, pausing about two inches before the normal point of full insertion. Now, take the lubricated testicles in one hand, squeeze them together and upward against the shaft of the penis, and as firmly as you can without causing too much discomfort and with a controlled shunt, push your testicles in <laughs> along with the penis. Once fully inserted, you will need to use your body weight and or firm but gentle pressure to keep everything in place. Normal penetrative strokes will displace the ten- testicles so simply grind and pulse inside your partner. <clears throat> okay. 
Thank you. You're all Fucking, very welcome. That was amazingly read, Rams. I just have to a round Thank of applause you. for Rams reading that beautiful. with not a stutter, a laugh, just like just golden. Beautiful. Actual golden fucking reading, Rams. Wait, is so that what the you, Baldo is used for? Yeah, this is the Baldo shit. Yeah, 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 yeah Baldo. Right. Oh, you know um, all about that, Rams. You're into that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I tell everyone about it. You know, I would never do that to my balls. I've got too much sack to work with. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm wait. lost the source now. I'm lost in the source. It's way, we're way too deep in this shit. Um, just finishing this question, which I don't think people are saying in chat that they think it's a shit post. I don't think it's a shit post. It's not it's even reading. a question. It's just having it's a not go a question. at Harry. It's a complaint. This is a fucking. This, this is, is a complaint, complaint desk. I just someone is angry at me about my fucking take on some guy with engorged testicles shoving them in someone else's ass, which I was just a bit like, mm, maybe not the greatest idea. Is, yeah. that, is that so wrong? <laughs> is this my hill? I'm dying on this hill. This Cancel is where him. I go down. Cancel him, Twitch chat. <laughs> this is where I go down. It's a 50 level forms made of player healthy and normal. And I agree, Harry says. Uh, partners who enjoy these acts uh, find them experiences, bring them together closer and significant others, um, but also their families have their own bodies. Thank you. Yes, I, I think I, that's I, real. I think it's real as fuck. That ending makes me think it's real as fuck. I think yeah. the bit that's in the middle. Where, the bit in the middle where they clearly got a bit tilted is like. I'm really sorry it shouldn't be, but it's hilarious to me <laughs> because the context of this conversation being the guy with the giant tangerine-sized <laughs> fucking testicles is so funny. That is so I can't oh, believe they got upset hilarious. about that. Oh I'm my so, God. I am sorry you got upset, though. That is really, I'm, I'm sorry if I said something offensive to you. Um, we were trying to have a laugh. I'm, I'm very sorry. But, um, Don't worry. I mean, sorry. I'll Harry, be joining it's you. It's fine. Oh, that's so we funny. Were, I'm going to just start crying with laughter again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Sorry. not until you tried it, true, but every, you know, maybe it's just, you know, everyone has their own opinions and Harry feels violently uh, disgusted about gigantic testicles being shoved inside a puckered bumhole. It's and the that's beautiful fine. thing about the internet, Lydia. We all get to share our views on the testicles going inside the anal uh, exactly. sex act. That's just wonderful about the internet. It brings oh, us thank together, Thank God right. they created the internet. Thank God. It's all right, that. Harry. Oh. I'll be joining you on Cancel Till in a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah oh right after yeah after that recording we did oh, the other day yeah. oh yeah 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 we'll hold on that one we'll hold on that one people can uh, yeah. people can people can follow the Spotify rounds they can uh, they mm. can follow us on Spotify on their favourite podcast platforms and they can catch them then so, that's um, right stay if tuned. this is your first time hearing Zero Degrees we are we are on Spotify and YouTube and all the places you get your podcast. you can listen to us there <laughs> you know so do it do it smile um uh, What's happening Lydia, here, Harry? You, you didn't you didn't get a random one. Do you want to do a I little didn't. random one? Yeah, I want a okay, random one. Okay, let me one. let me give you a little um let me give you a little random one. Okay, two hundred and two, a very early one. Ooh, Ooh. that doesn't bode well. The earlier you go, the worse they are. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't um, think we've answered this one. I'm oh just going to have a little... It's quite intense, a really maybe. real one. What a fucking tonal shift. Oh. Okay. Well, we, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's dive in. Are let's you sure? In. This is quite yeah. This is what? quite intense. Okay. Let's Here we go. go. I'm just, I need to reset myself. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a massive problem. I'm 33 years old. I have two children with different people and now have child support. However, I have no job and I cannot get a job because I have a warrant. Don't drink and drive kids. It's expensive. So mm. I have child debt piling up and no way to get past it and move on with my life. In order to fix my situation, I must do community service. However, it costs money in order to be able to do the community service. Also, my driver's license was taken away because of the built up debt. So I am broke, losing money every day. No way to legally work to recover that money and no way to get to a job or community service and no way to move on from my situation. Help! Much appreciated. The tonal shift. The tonal <laughs> shift. shift is insane. <laughs> this is like a, this, this person's I mean, got serious life stuff going look, on. You know, I'm just gonna go out and say it. Double down. Life of crime, baby. Crime pays. Let's go. <laughs> just, you know, just keep going. Let's go. Like you know, fuck it. I mean, just look, guys, we're answering the, we're answering the, the question six bandit. months late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The question is being answered six months late. I mean, you know, if they're waiting for our advice. They've probably already gone to it. I mean, let's go. Drink, drive, bandit. You know, getaway driver. You know, rob some banks. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. All in. All in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Double uh, down. What? 
You don't need to do the time. Just keep doing the crime. <laughs> just, just keep doing God. the crime. If you keep doing the crime, you never have to do the time. That's how it works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah. I'm fuck, I mean, we are not like we we. While while I like to think that we have some sort of life experience and we can try and give our opinion on most things, I feel like mm. stuff like this, we don't have a fucking idea, like no. what that someone should do in this situation. Definitely talk to someone who is, um, you know, you can, you can I, I, educated. It <laughs> It, not to make not to use a video game term it kind of sounds like they're soft locked do you know what I mean like they can't do yeah. the user service they can't yeah. get they can't get that is such an inappropriate usage of the term but no they are quick kind of soft for you bud they are kind of <laughs> soft locked right now of like they can't do the community service so they can't get a driving license so they but they can't do the community service so they can't do it's a like catch 32 I guess yeah with the other term. they're um, in between a rock and a hard place and it feels like you can um you can probably like you know there's probably some way of talking to the people who are trying to do the community service for so you can get your driver's license back and get it arranged in a format where you can do it. I mean, I really hope that, I would hope by fucking this point they've got their driver's mm. license back. It's been six months. Um, I that's another one that is... needs an update. Yeah, I assume, mm. I'm, I'm imagining chat is also saying that maybe this is America. Like, if you have to get so far to somewhere that I'm guessing there's no public transport. Um, yeah. Because I'm wondering if you could ask to go somewhere closer because you physically cannot get there and you don't have a car. Um, but maybe everything is millions of miles away from each other. Um, but yeah, that's a tricky one. That's uh, that's uh, I think mm. out, out I, of our pay grade, to be honest. I guess you I could like... speak to a professional, like a debt management thing, like a debt advisor. Oh, that sounds like or loan shark to me. Maybe <laughs> don't, maybe don't you can maybe you can appeal to a judge and like Lydia suggested, try get something moved or travel organized so that you don't have to pay for the travel to go do your community service, or you know, like Harris suggested, maybe a life of crime. Do you know, just double down. There we yeah. go. One of those three. One, one of, those of those three. three preferably not Maybe the third. Maybe just close your <laughs> eyes. Don't do and the last pick. one. Oh, declare bankruptcy. That's actually not a bad suggestion. Maybe. Oh no, because you can't. You can't declare bankruptcy on community service can you <laughs> I don't know if t- can, they do, can you do that? Maybe. I Maybe don't know. Like I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Shall we have a quick? Um, shall we quick scan through? Uh, the, the, old, live, the, the live, the live questions. Um, yeah, let's do it. I assume some of these are God. Some of these questions, guys. You do realize you some of these questions we can't answer. <laughs> some of you <laughs> forgot to put live in as well. You fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are the fucking worst. Well, this is the special live um, pickaxe week, so I guess we have <laughs> but, to answer some of them. But you know, I was going to read this one. I was going to read this one. I was like, oh, this oh, sounds what about good. This one? Oh, go for it. This one down here seems like it's um, kind of more interesting. Yeah, here. Interesting. Hit it. Hit it. You know what? That, who yeah. was just saying that question? Sure. Crushed it. Killing this it, is King. a good one. All right. By the way, we're doing this question. Please send in your live questions, problems, and conundrums. <laughs> Not <laughs> okay. fucking troll ones. There's about 50 troll ones, which is great. Yeah. Really mm-hmm, helpful, mm-hmm. guys. Really helpful. We'll have <laughs> answer any of these. Start of it. <laughs> okay. This question is... You've just woken up in the world of the last movie you watched. What are the consequences of you being in that world? And how do you go about making yourself the hero or the villain? Mm. All right, so first of all, what's the last movie everyone watched? I'm trying to think. I, I, I think it's been a while since I watched the movie. Oh, my God. Do you know what, do you know what I watched? I watched well, the last movie I watched was on the plane back from America. I haven't watched one since then. Same. And I, you know, I watched, I was on my own. I just had my stress, my, the most stressful change in my life. I was so hungover, so tired. And I was like, fuck, I really want to watch something just like emotional. So I just, I was like, I, I was flicking through and I saw In the Heights, that fucking like musical. I've not seen that. I What's just watched that? In the Heights and I just had a little cry on the plane. Oh, Harry, I'm going to look it up. And it was, In the and Heights. And then I like caught myself at the end of the movie. And I was like, this is fucking sad. This is just a sad existence for Harry right now. I am like down oh. bad. It's like oh. it's like oh, a trash mu- 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 like musical. It's it's story's kind of okay, but it's um uh it's like about like a, a New York borough, and it's all musical. It's just good. It's, it was fun, but I was just like, this is fucking lame. This is the I'm a lame person. I was like, oh. I could be watching Top Gun and doing a pog. Well, yeah, I did that on the way to America, and I wish I did it on the way back so that I had that for this question because Top Gun. I was crying. I was having a great time. It was an amazing movie. On the way back, the last movie I saw was Us uh, by Jordan oh, Peele. Oh fuck! All right, you're oh, fucked. Yeah. I'm. I mean, fucked. I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it, but I'm imagining I didn't it's not like a great it very world to be much in either. But it's a terrible world to be in. It's a terrible world to be in. 
So keeping it vaguely spoiler free, uh, uh-huh. what are the consequences of you being in the us world and how do you go about making yourself the hero or the villain? I, f- I feel like mine is really easy. I'm singing and dancing constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess, um, I'm trying to remember the storyline. Um, it's about it's about this guy who kind of wants to leave New York and b- and build his shop. So I guess I'm the villain. I'm one of the people egging him to to, to leave, but then he doesn't want to leave. It's a confusing storyline. It doesn't really. I don't even know if I can. Maybe I'm just the person helping the villain or something. Oh shit! The guy that wrote it is the guy that did Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Miranda. I, yeah. It's worth watching. Like it's not. It's got it's 7.3 not, on IMDb. It's really not awful. It's 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 a fun it's a fun story. But I was just like, why have I watched this like really kind of <laughs> heartfelt thing? Oh, did play? it make you cry, <laughs> Harry? <laughs> oh yeah, I was just like also exhausted <laughs> and had oh, been awake and just was hungover. <laughs> mm. It was good. It was good. I for, um, us, good. for us, there's a, a doppelganger trying to kill me to take my place. So. I need to decide: Am I the doppelganger, or am I the oh. am I the the real me? Us. Uh, Wait, I have seen us. I'm thinking of Nope. I've not seen. I nope. have I've not seen, seen us. Nope. Okay. Yes. Seen us. All right. Yep. 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 Um, I think the most realistic thing is is I'm going to be sitting on my PC streaming or something, and a doppelganger Ravs is going to come in and stab me with scissors, and I die. I think yeah. that that's kind of I'm kind of. I'm stuck in a horror movie. Um, you know, I'm not an action hero, so I'm going to die, probably. Unless I can, like, you know, convince my clone me to get nasty. But, I mean, that's, like, my only desperate what, plea. It? Yeah, I'd fuck myself. <laughs> Are you going to fuck your clone? Yeah. Are you gonna... yeah, I would. Yeah? Fair. That's fair. Yeah. I think that's, I think yeah? that's fair. That, you, you want know, that's to fuck fa- yourself? Are you going to bean bung with your clone? Are you going to bean bung myself? Yeah. Are you going to bean bung yourself? I mean, wouldn't you guys, if you saw yourself in front of you? I mean, I, I would, I would with myself. No, I, I mean, look, I, I would. I no, would. self love. I mean, it's gonna be hard for to bean bung with herself, but you know, I can't bean bung. It's all about the effort, right? <laughs> what do you do? Like, what's the other equivalent? Just shove um, your tits up there. Shove <laughs> your tits up the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking shove a nipple in there. <laughs> just, I don't even want to think about the fucking the body logistics of making that work. Yeah. How? What is that? What is that? What is that oh called? God, I, what is that called? I guess you have to get a really big gape going on an ass <laughs> and just like put a put a titty in there. Oh my god. I don't even know. I don't. I don't think I can even find. I don't think it is a thing, Lydia. I think you can name that. I think it's now okay, called Lydia. Okay, can that be mine? Can I? <laughs> yeah. Can I? Can I be? Can I be the first? Well, probably not the first. Someone's got to have tried that. Oh but like my god. Everything's been tried at least once. Everything's been tried once. Yeah. Lydia, what's your movie then? So the last movie I've been watching a lot of horror movies recently, which is oh, so great. It's not going good for you guys. Yeah, it's no. not going good. I mean, I've been watching like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and um things like that but the actual last one i watched was a movie called creep um i watched the second one the other night so it's not creep which is based on the london underground mm-hmm. um there because there's like a kind of slasher movie like that it's more of a found footage kind of horror movie and it's incredibly unsettling it's only about an hour and 20 minutes long it's very, very fucking good. And it's just like two people in it, um, like without giving anything away. It's a, a videographer turns up at this guy's house who puts like a, a gum tree kind of advert uh, looking for someone to help him record a video for his unborn son. Um, and it is disturbing as fuck. Um, mm. If I was in that world, I guess I would have to either be the scary guy or the guy that's terrified. Um I I would I I would I would die very quickly. I think I just would this be sounds fucked. Awful. It's sounds, so this is creepy. Worst <laughs> it's horrible. Um, there were lots of things that the guy did in the movie that I'd be like, well, I wouldn't do that. But I would maybe be trying to get away quicker than that because it was just all so unsettling. But I definitely recommend it. Off ta- uh, t- tangent here, I definitely recommend it if you are looking for uh, a horror movie to check it out. Is this, is this horror, post but... Halloween horror movies? Is this is this is this what you're, go- you're still yes. going through some from Halloween? Yeah, I just got really got, got into watching them now. Um been watching some like really good stuff recently. Um but where are you yeah, getting so, your recommendations from? Where are you where are you, where are you hearing it? So um I've been like just kinda of looking online, but actually also on Twitter. I, I put a tweet out asking people oh, cool. someone recommended creep to me on Twitter and I thought um uh I was like, Oh, I'm not sure about this because it's it's you know, like everything's from the point of view of a camera and sometimes that makes yeah. me feel a bit sick, like yeah. um kind of so like Cloverfield. Guy- 
this guy's a creep, right? But like, how in danger are you in this universe? Is he like violent or is he just creeping people out? I don't want to spoil it too much because in case anyone yeah. wants to watch it, but you are in danger. Yeah. You oh, okay. Danger. Okay. Yeah. He's, All right. he's very, he's not a good guy. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's very good. But I'd be fucked. If that was the world I lived in, uh, being around that man, then I wouldn't have a good, a good time. I wouldn't have a good time. <laughs> What God, would be the I mean, movie that you would want to have watched for that that question? Yeah, I'm trying to think. What's like the dub? What's like the the best movie to be? I mean, I'd love to end up in like you know a magical world like Lord of the Rings. Do you know what I mean? That would be oh, seeing that'd like be real nice, like yeah. Avatar, like one of those worlds which is like wow, this is so so cool, like something really something really beautiful, um, something really picturesque. I don't know. Or, but also, like, could you go into like an animated world, like a pix one of some of the Pixar oh worlds, are, like God. so so fun and and silly. Like that would be a really fun world to exist in. Uh, I go last, to like, a Studio Ghibli world. That would be. Although, also, the, I do, Studio Ghibli was are there was like a dark side to but it. But they which, are kind of yes, a lot of them actually are really fucking dark, kind of, like a bit scary. Kind of deaf in a lot of them, like. Yeah, I don't know. Chat. Let's 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 pick up some ones from chat. People agree yeah. with Lord of the Rings. Um, if Lord of the Rings isn't a fun world to be in, I mean, it's not. It'd be interesting. It'd certainly, be interesting. I mean, I don't know if you're there like at a peacetime. If you're there at the start of the Fellowship of the Ring, you're just chilling in the Shire. Oh yeah, that's yeah. really nice, isn't it? That's quite yeah, lovely. Yeah, that'd be good. Pixels. Yeah. People say Ready Player One and Pixels. I, neither of those gate. Okay. Neither of those videos. No. I remember in any of those movies. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, House of Castle was great, true. I want to be in the Mr. Bean universe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Isn't it Fuck canon yeah. that like, he's an alien or something like that? I think what? That, that, that's how the They're... animated and the IRL one start. It's like he gets dropped off from a spaceship. Yeah, Do I think you... it is what? canon that he's an is alien. Is that canon? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is why he's so not human. <gasps> yeah. And so awkward. And... Really? Weird, yeah. That he's an alien. I've never heard that as a. Is it, well, it starts with him being spot dropped from the um spotlight. He lands in like the spotlight. Oh, that's the intro. right. I don't know if that's a fan theory or if it's canon. <laughs> what we do in the shadows, that would be fantastic. Oh yeah, if he could be a vampire, that would be Fuck, great. Being a vampire, what we do? Yeah. I need to watch a new series of that. That's new series. That's a oh, shit, yeah, I need to watch it yeah. as well. I'm almost there. I'm watching the season three at the moment. Um, Mr. I think my, Blobby universe. Mr. Blob, it might got to be terrifying. I think mine would be Kiki's delivery service because nothing really bad happens. It's just this really nice little village town where she flies around and she makes cakes for old people and stuff like that. And I'd be happy and yeah, I'd do good. that. I'd be in that world. But maybe you get bored oh. after a while. If I had to pick an animated one, I'd kind of want to be in the JoJo universe, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Just I haven't sweet, seen weird. That. Weird shit. It's an anime. It's just some weird I, shit happens in it. Dude, I tried watching JoJo and I just mm -hmm. can't. I just can't do it. It's just... It's it's wild. Everything is so wild. I fucking love it. But Crazy. There's wild and then there's like just non just nonsense and it just all feels too nonsensey to me. I don't know. I've tried twice yeah. and I just, I'm like, I, I can't do it anymore. Can't do it. It's cool. It's cool animation though. Like it's yeah, really yeah. cool. Like I, I, just can't, I just can't follow it. Do you know what I mean? It's, really, it's yeah. a really hard show for me to follow. Um, man, I mean, I would, I would love to be in the Pokemon universe. Going into the fucking Pokemon That'd be Detective, good. Detective Pikachu would be Ooh. hilarious. Be Where all the Pokemon are like cursed because Detective Pikachu they're all kind of cursed in real life versions. that are weirdly textured. It's not like animated. It's like gross. I think mean, that'd be like, really funny. Isn't Jigglypuff like fur? Like yeah, well, Jigglypuff is the furry like, and stuff. And, like, Mister Mime's all like uh, leathery. Mm. Like it's like a football ball. Mm. It's, it's weird. Um, uh, should we another on the live next one? Question? Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got a good one here. Uh, it says, Barry, Lids, and Raps, would you rather never be able to replay any game, brackets, and you have to have a cap of 100 hours on each individual game you play, so basically you can't play more than 100, 100 hours of any game, or you're only allowed to play one game forever? And which games would you miss playing? Love the podcast, keep it up. Shit. It's a good question. So you can only play one game, play every game for 100 hours, or you can play... One game forever. So, I. Oh, this isn't a complication. It is. It's a situation. We take. We take situations and philosophically questions. Silly, silly hypothetical questions. I think. Oh, a hundred hours capped. A hundred. Some games at a hundred hours, you're just beginning them. You would have yeah. to be really strict on yourself. I would have to like never play massive games. 
like a really big RPG, you know, like... Like Skyrim, just be, you just... You would never yeah, get there. You'd have to just do the main story and then pick some side quests. But then playing one game... Is it one game or one franchise? Should we expand I that to one franchise? Well, this is from Amy Sky in chat, yeah. so I guess Amy Sky can confirm Cause that. Because technically, right, you could you could be like, mm, technically, you you could pick World of Warcraft, but you well, only get classy... <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's fine you're getting like the entire franchise, franchise in one game. I making it too yeah. easy. Too, I think it should easy. be a single game. Yeah, I think yeah. it should be a single game. I, and that makes it so hard. I think I'd have to go 100 hours in every game. I'd have to pick the 100 hours. I need the variety. I'd get yeah. bored of a single game. Even though it's like my favorite game, I could get bored of it. Mm, I I agree. I, I I'm not. Um, I feel like the people that are going to struggle with the uh, not being able to go over 100 hours are people that are into like. Uh, MMOs and things like that where you do just play that same game for hundreds and hundreds of hours well I'm more into like story based stuff so yeah. usually most games I play I don't play for a longer than 100 hours um, and it, why it would suck with things like Skyrim or Stardew Valley and stuff I think the variety and being able to play any game like what if you're just not it, it, in the mood to play it would Dota be kind of or a, whatever it would be kind yeah. of a good thing actually in the end do you know what I mean just like force you to go and play other shit I feel like it would actually yeah. be It'd be nice, and you'd end up playing a load of different things. I would miss but, a lot. Of um, big things, I would though. miss. I would miss Minecraft so much. Oh, yeah. Like I, I yeah. would be so sad. I would miss. Well, if, that, if there was a single game, it would be Minecraft for me. That would be the one I pick. I think it's probably the. Or, you get or so many MMO, games with it. Something like yeah. Minecraft. I think Minecraft. I know an MMO has got to be the game if you're going to yeah. pick a single. Yeah. Or Stardew, something that you know is going to get mm. content for like the next ten years. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, I think I'd, yeah, I'd miss Minecraft, RuneScape, all of Pokemon. And then all mm-hmm. the Dark Souls, like. But I guess every- each individual Pokemon game, you can get 100 hours in them. That's mm-hmm. a couple sure. of playthroughs. It's pretty good. That's not bad, is it? Plus, like, you can play, you know, Violet and Scarlet. Sure, you can yeah. play hey, Violet. Game in the with these fucking yeah. Rooms. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, jeez. Um, I don't know. What would you miss most, Lydia? Um, God, what's a game that I mean? Like, I always get super into those like Rune Factory games, like any kind of gaming, si- uh, farming sim, Stardew Valley, all of that Harvest stuff is Mooney, a- Harvest Moonies, Harvest yeah. Mooney. Those I fuck, I'm a sucker for those kind of games, and I it and I always go into like hundreds of hours with them. So I would get so frustrated. Imagine you're like halfway through Warwick a Turnip or whatever, and it's like the game just cuts out, and you can like, never ever play it again. Oh. You'd feel such frustration, like. It would I was be literally so just irritating. This. I was just like, I would allocate, like, cool, I've got 100 hours. Okay, I can play through, like, how, you know, that's probably, like, really see, like, 40 playthroughs of Dark Souls 1. Mm. When am I, am I going to, like, shoot myself to one a year? And then I'm going to save the last <laughs> one for, like, <laughs> you know, how, like, how do I allocate yeah. this throughout my life? Like, you're on your deathbed to... and you're like, <laughs> one more Bring me run. the PlayStation. <laughs> the final run, it's time. <laughs> and then you flatline as you beat the Lord of Cinder. <laughs> Based and then just based yeah. appears above me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. That's so fucking dumb. But, but yeah, you that... would. You would. You would like save that. Like you want to go check on your Stardew Valley playthrough, God. and so you'd save an hour so you could log in and look at it. Or would you just yeah. forget about it and move on? I don't know. You'd never want to like waste a moment. Like imagine if you accidentally left your switch on and you went to go like make dinner or whatever. You came back, you'd like fuck. I've wasted forty minutes. Like you'd every you'd <laughs> oh use God. it all so preciously. You'd never yeah. want to like waste a moment. I mean, right, you're, I, on, I, you're on your I, deathbed and you've you have one last hour left in the game. What's your uh, you're you're gonna die after this hour? What game is <laughs> <God>. it? <laughs> Oh my Can god! Can it be anywhere in the game, or does it have to be like at the beginning of a game? Uh, or? It's up to up to you. Oh, you've, I mean, you've, has, you've saved yeah. it. You've saved it, knowing that this will be the last experience you have. It oh would be Beanbunger Four D uh, Simulator. It has to be Beanbunger Four D Simulator. <laughs> dude. I mean, I've been loving that game <laughs> <laughs> my entire life. You know, your entire life. Fucking hell! <laughs> I think uh, I, mine oh would god. be like Minecraft, and I'd like be going through a world that I've built over those ninety nine hours, and I'd play like the Sweden song. You know, oh, yeah, you have nice. a little happy, happy tear. That's sad. That's a sad. That's a sad mm-hmm. moment. That's but a it's sad like moment. a, it's a, it's an, it's a bittersweet, isn't it? I, I think Aww. I would do Dark Souls and you die as you beat Gwyn. That's that like base. That's a, base that's tears. a fucking sick, sick, mm-hmm. sick finale. Just parry yep. him. Three parries. Oh done. god. Yep. 
Good job. Oh, Why are you oh, I think mine would be really sad. I think I'd play like the last hour of Final Fantasy Nine because no spoilers, even though this game came out in like fucking 1990. Yeah, no, 2000. Out, it came out in 2000. Uh, one of the characters passes away at the end and it's heartbreaking. And I think I would, I don't know, I would like, you know, I'd play it and be sad, but also, you know, connect it to myself or or maybe I'd play like a really lovely bit of Final Fantasy VII because it would remind me of being a kid again. I don't know. I'd go yeah. for like huge nostalgia. Like, oh, that's a, uh, having actually like a melancholy end to a game. Yeah, melancholy. Mm. I was but thinking like, of um, except- uh, do you, like Halo Reach. Do you ever played one of the Halo ones? It's like the final mm. good Halo game that was released ages and ages and ages ago. But that has like a really really sad story where the ending is just like you basically die your character is dying mm. and they die and yeah. like that was like fuck that would be a great game so you could play that and be. be like this is happening to me too or you could I'm do Final Fantasy 7 <laughs> and stab yourself with a massive sword just as Ares, as Ares yeah. yeah and you could be God, what a sad we, I feel like we need a little let's let's grab a little happy one we need yeah. a, we need we need something uh, right, to, a little pick me, me up let me peep uh, what is this question uh, oh. I'm colouring it in. I'm colouring it in yellow. Of course oh, no. you picked that one. Oh, my fucking eyes. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong one. There you go. No. Okay, yeah. uh, hold on. There's another. <laughs> That's we'll get this one. I can hear we'll Lydia screaming from we'll the get, other get, room. We'll, we'll get this one up here, though. We'll get this one up here, a couple up. This All one? Right. The, the one that I've highlighted. Weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't do that one. Oh, we can't do yeah. that one. Yeah. Why don't you do, do 740? Fuck it. Okay, sure, right. Of course Next question. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> it's a crazy question. Next it's a question. crazy fucking question. It's a live question that's come from chat. So <laughs> this person is watching. This is their predicament. Oh, my God. My partner always finds an excuse to have our pets in the room when we have sex. Knowing they are watching us makes me uncomfortable. I've tried kicking them, but my partner gets upset. They say I'm being mean to them. What should I do? <laughs> it's time well, to restart. Go again. Why it's did time you to want this again, one, mate. Harry? Why? It's a real question from a real viewer, Lydia. What Come is wrong on. with you? Come on. They're in chat. They need the answer. You've got to break fuck? up with them. That's fucking, that's some unhinged shit. I'm right, wondering gotta... if this is the same person who got oh. the paw to the asshole. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the asshole poor person. The high yeah. five. Oh no, but yeah. that was like a kind of hookup, wasn't it? That wasn't a part. Oh, that was a hookup. Yeah, yeah. that was a hookup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think this is weird. It's certainly weird. You should certainly confront your partner about it. It's very strange. There's but, something really incesting. That's that very that's it. weird. Them just being there by whatever is yeah. whatever, but like insisting, like making sure that's weird. That's weird, that's, bro. That's really bizarre. I mean, it, it, it sounds a little bit illegal. Like, I'm not going to lie. It just sounds a little bit illegal. Yeah. Guess, and what are they hoping for with the pet there? What do, what's what the thing? Are they, happen? are they getting aroused by the pet being there? Do they yeah, find it, like, comforting the pet being there? Do they think it's funny, the pet being there? Like, what is... There's yeah. got to be some what's reasoning. And if it's arousing, then you got to break up with them and call the police. Also, wait, sorry, straight up. Like, the fact that they're, like... If this is a real fucking question, the fact that they're just like, surely you'd be like, uh, no, no, the pet is leaving. Yeah, I mean, like, why no, didn't you say no? <laughs> this speaks pretty strongly of you being like, wait, you're just allowing this as well? <laughs> wait, wait, what? They didn't clarify what type of pet this is. So what if like, they just walk it's a gold in fish. with their, it's a gold it's fish. A gold fish <laughs> with their fish tank and they put it down? That's kind of based. Like, Bubbles has to be here for this. Well, all the person who's <laughs> really in this question is insane. And it's like, your goldfish can't be in the room while we, while we have sex. You have to move the goldfish out of your bedroom. Mr. Bubbles has to witness this. <laughs> it also says my partner always finds an excuse to have our pets in the room. So they're saying, you know, oh, um, you know that a uh, little dandy lion gets anxious if I shut the door on them or whatever. They're always making yeah. an excuse, which is even weirder. Like, why are they? Why, what is the, I, I need to know I why they want to. I don't know. But they, come the pers- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, th- I don't know. I feel like. It's just insane. I feel like there's also not enough context. I need more. I need to know more. What? I think there's, yeah, there's no excuse. Also, I think what type of pet weird. is it? Like, I need, to, yeah. Like, it, cause, uh, but they say pets, there's plural. So if they've got this fucking, like, yeah. got the entire, like, fucking farm, just, like, <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> just, like, two cats, a dog, a cow, a Jesus. goat. Jesus. There's some uh, sheep uh, in there. I, um... 
<laughs> I would use that as grounds to leave someone, honestly. If someone insisted that my three cats had to be in or the room. Or just kept very weirdly making excuses mm. for it. Yeah, yeah for that I, to would, be happening. I would assume that they were into something weird and uh, I wouldn't want anything to do with them. That is bizarre. Yeah. I would, Absolutely I, bizarre. I mean, just for like my intrigue, ask them first and then let us know. But otherwise, yeah, just break the fuck up. <laughs> break up. <laughs> yeah, it's, that may be a breakup situation because yeah. that's just kind of weird. What that's do we think, weird. chat? You have to be like, it's it's me or them, you know, and they're yeah. probably going to pick Mr. Mr. Goldfish. <laughs> but a, you know what? I yeah. also, like, I'm sorry, but if they're like kind of like oh the, the cat gets lonely i'd be like yeah but it's weird it's staying this outside is weird. You know I mean? like, it's like you shut that down it's not like yeah a, you just don't a couple of minutes it'll be fine yeah like um, <laughs> trust me well, that's generous Lily. wow, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Couple> is, uh, <laughs> oh, Dash says maybe they are blind and need their dog to help them navigate during <laughs> sex like if that's a thing you get like a labrador to like all right put your leg here <laughs> put your arm over here <laughs> Oh, quite live. <laughs> okay, there's clearly a jokester in the chat because we've just had live. Hey guys, I like having my pets in the bedroom because they get up to all kinds of shenanigans and mess up the kitchen if I leave them alone outside my bedroom. They're used to this and don't mind. My partner doesn't like having them around during sex and has tried even kicking them sometimes. Is this cruelty towards my pets a red flag? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, Incredible. They get up to all kinds of shenanigans. <laughs> Oh my god! And you know what? To that question, Raz, I'd say you know what? it's great if your partner have your pets in the bedroom. Go for it. You know, fuck your partner. Break up with them. Yeah, break up with them. Yeah. They won't let you do what you want, and they're your pets. You know, fucking break up with them. It sounds like they're like yeah. trying to live your life for you. Like that's really oh. toxic. You guys Get just weren't meant to be. Just mm-hmm. not meant to oh, be at all. Yeah, that's so yeah. funny. That's so out of interest. So, if you and your partner, if you or whatever, if you and someone was having sex. And say they had like a <laughs> Why hamster. Why you say it like that? You're, you're having sex. Oh, uh, having sex. <laughs> They're having <laughs> sex. <laughs> and there's like, they have a hamster or, or something like that. Do you literally like pick up the hamster cage and put it outside or you do you just kind of ignore it? I, I mean, if like it's a hamster and it's like in the cage, like that's okay. But if it's like a dog that can get up in my asshole and lick it and sniff it then I don't want that Jesus. no I'm sorry no. to put the dog outside I'm not interested I, I what if the like dog's not it... licking and sniffing it's just watching okay, then I don't like that either I feel more uncomfortable right well the I hamster's like... watching <laughs> sorry <laughs> he's he, he, he certainly watching <laughs> I feel like it's more yeah it's more about a free roaming pet a pet that can access all areas of the room and me um, and that, that's <laughs> what gives me anxiety so like the question would be I guess a bird on a perch you know a parakeet on a little perch in the corner of the room is that mm-hmm. causing you the same anxiety as a dog or as a hamster Ralphs? what so it's a parakeet instead of a hamster or a dog yeah it's just on a yeah you go it depends <laughs> if, the par- <laughs> if the parrot's like like harder fuck, harder fuck, faster faster <laughs> deeper Ralphs has a tiny penis <laughs> <laughs> then then I'm like okay yeah I'm uncomfortable it's like dick shaming me uh, please, I'm, I mine's like bigger open, than yours. Mine's bigger than like, yours. I like open the window. <laughs> right, free. Just punch the window open. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's the free roaming aspect. You yeah. know, if it's like, yeah. like, would you feel weird about a crab in a cage, Ravs? Yes, I don't want to be in the same building as a crab, Harry. You know my, my thoughts on crabs. Yeah, no. I know I just had to test you, make sure you're still like can't spider- spider- keep up this lie. If there was a fucking Japanese spider crab in the bedroom, I'm leaving. I break up with you on the spot. I jump out the window. I don't okay, care what floor I'm on. All right, what yeah. if you are having sex on the floor and they've got a hamster in one of those balls and it's like roaming around and sometimes running into you. I am, I am done with that. That's fine. I, think, I think, actually think that's fine. Really? Yeah. And it's like yeah. bumping into you. I again, don't even again, care the, if the, I feel the little ball slam against my ass. I am fine with that. What his little ball you, people? It's, do, it's doing ball. Newton's cradle with little your little fucking balls. testicles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. That's kind of, kind of based. Being yeah. bugging with the hamster balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is like certainly illegal. You can't even joke about that. That is certainly oh illegal. My that God. is animal cruelty. That is animal cruelty. Yeah. Jesus. Um, uh. Wow, wow, wow. He's wearing protection, someone uh. says in chat. <laughs> true, 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 true. I I feel like that's a wonderful place for us to, to, to wrap it up. Yeah. What a what a sexually charged episode of Zero Degrees. A lot um, of animal 
Yeah. Comes. You know, it hasn't been sexy charts for quite a while, actually. We'd had a yeah. lot, and then we went away for a bit, yeah. and now it's now it's back on it. Um, it's always funny. It's always good, isn't it? Oh, there, always... there's one more live one here. It's kind of short and sweet. Go on, right, right in well, there. Far away, far away. Okay. Live. My, well, I don't know why I read the live part out. <laughs> my flatmate keeps taking my food in the fridge without asking me. I'm not confrontational, but should I just tell them to stop or should I try some petty deterrence? That's so I yeah, just sweet. Yeah, I heard this good strategy. Apparently, you just get some mouse semen and you put it in all your food. Um, <laughs> people really don't like that. Really don't yeah, fucking just, like that. Just make your male mouse come. You know, oh, just, get yeah. actable. Yeah, go pets, mm-hmm. go pets for home and get some tweezers. And um, mm-hmm. apparently, that's a good strategy. Mm-hmm. I, I, um, when I was like eighteen or nineteen, and I moved out, uh, one of my flatmates' boyfriend, me and him, fell out really badly. And he and I was so worried because I'd seen him fall out with someone else that he used to live with. And what he used to do, and I'm, he used to take the guys like you know, like smiley faces and like frozen food like that. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And take mm-hmm. it and shove it down his asshole and rub it against his asshole and then put it back and put it back in the freezer. I literally saw him do it once. And then um, when me and him fell out, I became so paranoid that he was rubbing all my food on his asshole that I kept everything in my closet. I was too oh scared God. to have anything in the kitchen. Like, I, I, like I don't know why I just suddenly remembered this. How fucked oh up is God. that? That man was That's, horrible. Anyway, what was the question? Really fucked up. <laughs> just really how know. do you stop your flatmate? Not that. That's <laughs> <extreme>. <laughs> rubbing That's his fucking asshole crazy. against yeah. things. Yeah. What? It sounds yeah, that's illegal. Wild. Oh, that's he's taking the food. Okay, yes. Yeah, yes. he's mm. taking the food. He's not rubbing it on his ass cheeks. No, I no, like no. The asshole. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I you just like say you say don't fucking take my, my food. Yeah, stop eating my food, mate. And if you do want to be petty, fill it with hot sauce or something like something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Make it like extra spicy, like ghost chilies or something. And then they eat it, and they are suddenly dying. And you're like, oh, are you dying? What's what's happening here? Like. Are you eating my ghost chili salad that I made? <laughs> my ghost chili <laughs> yeah. salad. Yeah. Yeah, I, f- I feel like just try and ask them, you know, and then if they're just being a dickhead about it, there's not much solution. Yeah. I don't. Well, you could just rub it all on your bum hole and tell them that's what you've done and be like, you can eat it, but it's got my asshole all over It's got my fecal matter oh, all over it. Jesus. And then that means yeah. you have to eat it, which isn't You can also food. just fucking eat their food. Be petty, just fucking yeah. do that to them. <laughs> yeah. just, eye for an eye. I thought you were just going to say, just eat all your food. Just eat, just eat all, all. Food. So <laughs> just just there. Just it all. And then there won't be any for them to take. True, it's true. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also, it's like, is this person like skimming a bit of milk for their tea and it's kind of like, all right, whatever. Or are they like literally like you come home ready to eat your pizza, your frozen pizza, and they've just eaten the whole thing. Yeah, because there's, like, there's like there a big are, difference there, yeah, right? Yeah, there's levels yeah. of like, okay, yeah, you do kind of share some stuff. You run out of butter, so you might use the other person's butter and stuff like that. But if it yeah. is literally that's like, like... That stuff I know, think is okay. Was two people yeah. in the place, it's fucking insane to be buying two... Two bu- just shared, two you know what I mean? Are, are, are they not yeah. putting their weight in that way? Then like, yeah, we've got yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. to them. But if it is like literally they are like eating your dinner or like you go to eat your toast in the morning and they've eaten all your bread or whatever, then I think you are you should absolutely just say something. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I hate pillow, Lydia. I think you're shit, right. Just I think you're take right. shit on their pillow. 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 <laughs> pillow. <laughs> their pillow. Because I'm not confrontational and I would really like struggle in that scenario because I don't I like I would be like, how do I bring this up? Hello. Just curious. Did you eat my pizza? It's fine if you did. It's absolutely fine if you did. No well, you worries know they at did. all. It's just t- you know just like... curious because I am wasting away, but it's no problem if you did. Just let me know. Like, I don't know how I would deal with it. I'd turn it into like God, a That compliment. was a lot of sass. I don't know. I would fucking crumble <laughs> under that. The pacifist option, get like a mini fridge in your room. Ah, or a wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Put all your food yeah. in your wardrobe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. But yeah, good, good luck. Good um, luck. Yeah, good luck, sir. Good luck. Mm-hmm. It's a tricky one. Common problem, yep. I think. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you everyone for sending in your questions live. Um, mm-hmm. We enjoyed doing some random ones. If you've enjoyed listening to Zero Degrees, you can follow us on Spotify or or Apple or any of the podcasting places. Um, you can submit in questions as usual. We also have a little Patreon. So thank you to all our patrons. We love you. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you. Very generous. We've been doing lots of Patreon questions, which has been awesome. They've been submitting yep. some real priority bangers. access. True. Patreon.com slash zero degrees. Um, and we've been, doing, 
we've been recording a lot of Christmassy episodes, and we're going to do a lot of Christmas episodes running up to Christmas. So if you have Christmassy stories, Christmassy situations, Christmassy problems, um, feel feel free to send in some of those, and we'll and we'll jump right on them. Um, Zero Degrees goes out live every Tuesday around three pm ish. Um, and yeah, follow us. Give us a little look. I hope you've enjoyed watching it live. It's been really fun. And leave a little review. Leave a I little know. review. Come on. A little, little kiss and a heart. Um, and I'm sure we'll be having some. We have some guests vaguely lined up for for, for Christmassy times, which would be really fun. But if you have some people you'd love us to collaborate with, leave it in the YouTube comments or or wherever you're listening or watching and tweet us. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.